Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and in this video I'm talking to you about aftermarket axle back exhaust systems available for your 2015 and newer Mustang GT. An axle back will be a slightly more affordable way to increase the volume and the presence of that new GT compared to the more expensive catback options. But just like anything on the site, you're going to encounter a lot of choices and it can get a little overwhelming. So the purpose of this video is to give you my top three axle backs based on experience here at AM, along with some customer feedback as well, to help you guys choose a quiet, medium, or wild system for your ride. Now the axle back exhaust systems on the new S550 GT are going to be a little different from previous generations in a couple of different ways. First up, Ford decided to add a massive mid-pipe resonator to the exhaust system for the 2015 and up Mustangs, which is going to help shape the sound of the systems I'm about to talk about. In addition to that, it's going to help keep the volume down as well. Remove that resonator with an aftermarket X or H pipe, which you can find on the site, and expect the volume and the sound of the axle back to really increase. Secondly, with the addition of the independent rear suspension here with the newer generation Mustang, Ford added a one-piece factory cap back from those cats all the way back to the tips. So in order to install that new aftermarket axle back, there will be some cutting involved. Now don't let this scare you away because manufacturers have included very detailed instructions on how to measure and where to cut. So as long as you follow them carefully and use the proper tools, the install will be very straightforward. I personally recommend going with the Sawzall along with a fresh metal blade and a socket set to help you get the job done. First up, let's talk about my selection for the mild or quiet axle back. Now this is going to be for the owners out there who want just a little bit more sound and a little bit more tone over the factory system, but would ultimately like to keep things under the radar. For all those reasons, I went with the Flowmaster American Thunder Series axle back, which is a 2 out of 5 on my Wake the Neighbor scale, and here's what it sounds like. Now my first experience with this system was actually installing it onto a customer ride we had here in the shop who wanted something a little bit more loud than stock but didn't want anything over the top. And the first time we fired up his car with this system installed, we knew we had nailed it. A little bit more volume inside and outside of the car as well, but just with that traditional Flowmaster tone. That tone is made possible thanks to the Flowmaster iconic Super 44 Delta Flow Series muffler. It is a chambered muffler and the system as a whole features a combination of both 409 grade stainless and 304 grade stainless for the tips themselves. Now in traditional Flowmaster form, they do finish the muffler off in a black paint just to help reduce or prevent any corrosion over the years. A very tame system that can be woken up with a resonator delete or a set of long tubes, but as an axle back will be one of your quieter systems available for your new GT. But what if you want a system that will be noticeably louder than stock? Something that's going to turn a few heads but not wake every one of your neighbors in the process. Well, that leads me to my next pick, the Ford Performance by Borla Touring Axleback, coming in at a 3 out of 5 on my 1 to 5 or 1 to wake the neighbor scale, and here's what it sounds like. I feel like the Touring Axleback from Borla is a great choice for a few different reasons. First and foremost, it's going to deliver an aggressive but not over the top tone while maintaining a very quiet interior experience. And what I mean by that is you should not expect any drone whatsoever from the Borla while on the highway. Now sound benefits aside, you are getting a premium build here with the Borla thanks to the 304 grade stainless steel, the benchmark in materials when shopping for an aftermarket exhaust here on the site. Granted, you are going to be paying a little bit more for this as the Ford Performance by Borla stuff typically falls in the premium category, but you're getting a premium build in return.
Last but certainly not least, a favorite of Mustang owners everywhere, including myself, the wild or aggressive system. Now this is gonna be for the Mustang owners out there who wanna be heard and have no remorse for the cars, neighbors, or eardrums around you. And for this system, I went with the Roush Axleback, which I gave a strong four out of five on my one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale. And here's what it sounds like. Now there are a few systems out there that fit the bill when it came to overall loudness, but I went with the Roush and here's why. This screamer comes from one of the absolute industry leaders in the world of Mustangs and produces plenty of bark even with that factory resonator still in place. Ditch that in favor of an aftermarket mid-pipe or long tubes and this thing will get even louder. Another big reason why I went with the Roush besides the 100 plus positive customer reviews here on the site is the fact that you're still getting a pretty solid bang for your buck with the Roush. You're getting that premium grade 304 stainless steel, much like the Ford Performance by Borla Touring we just talked about, but you're getting it for a couple hundred dollars less than the Touring. And finally, for all the noise and havoc you're hearing on the outside of the car, thanks to the hollow chambered mufflers here from Roush, the in-car experience is a relatively quiet one, as reported by a bunch of our reviewers. Now, you do hear it a little bit on the inside, but not nearly as much as the other category screamer, the Flowmaster Outlaw, which has been known to be a bit loud inside the car. I do want to point out that three systems I just talked about are merely my suggestions based off my many years here at AM, along with factoring in some customer feedback as well. Now, if you do want any more info on any of the systems I just talked about or any more sound clips, feel free to check out the respective product page at any time. Thanks for watching. I'm Justin, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.